So let's create a free GraphQL mock API. My name is Roy, and in this recording, I'll be showing how to use StepSend to create a free GraphQL mock API for any data source. So if you head over to the StepSend website, you can find all information about the tool and how to use it and set it up. And you can use it completely free. They have a CLI, which you can install from NPM, and you can reuse it inside any of your projects. So if I head over to a new project I've set up in VS Code, which is my editor of choice, the only thing I need to do here is run npm install, append the global flag, and type down StepSend. So this will start pulling the StepSend CLI from npm and installing it to my machine. So what we'll be building today is a mock API. And this mock API will give us some information about whatever we want, but in this case, it will be a customer and maybe also the address of a customer. And for this, we need to create several files that we can then use with StepSend to create a mock API. The first thing we need to create is a bit of a, um, a bootstrap file, which is called index.graphql. So let's name it index.graphql. In the meantime, the CLI is finished installing, which is great. In here, I tell StepSend where to find the schema. And then I also tell them I have a separate file called mocks.graphql, which will have my actual GraphQL schema. And in here I can just type, create a type called query. And in here I could maybe create something like GitHub Copilot tells me it's called post. Or maybe I can just leave it like this. So GitHub, po GitHub Copilot tells me I have a query called get posts. So maybe just let GitHub Copilot think about what we should do. So to make this a mocked query, because if we would now start the steps in CLI, it will give me an error because there's no data source. So what we do here, we link a non-existing data source at rest with endpoint, and we just leave the endpoint empty. We probably get an error because we don't have a post type. Create something called type post. Maybe just say we have a title, which is a string. I would format this. So this is probably a fine GraphQL schema to start with. If I now start the steps in CLI, which I can do by running steps in start, I already have the CLI installed. There's no need to sign up because as I told you, you can use steps in completely for free. And as this is the first time I'm running steps in after installing it, it asks me if I want to continue with the free plan uh, and sign up or if I want to create a public anonymous endpoint. And for now, I'm going to be selecting a public anonymous endpoint. So it is an endpoint that's available to everyone. So if you're tagging along, watching this video, you can probably find the endpoint I'm now creating. So continue without logging in. It will ask us how I'd like to name my endpoint. So let's call it api mox And in here you can see we already get an error because supposedly String is with an uppercase S, which is fine. I will save it and then StepSend will start to work again. It creates an endpoint for me uh, that is available at a local host and also at a deployed endpoint. So let me just go to this thing. It's running on local host, but it is deployed actually. This is only for exploration purposes. If I go there, I can find a graphical interface and in this graphical interface, I can send queries to my API like the query I just created, which is called query. It's called get post and it has a title. But now probably nothing will happen because I didn't connect any data source. Unable to configure because, well, you know why? Because endpoint is empty. But instead, because I don't have a REST API that I want to mock, I maybe don't even have a database, I will be creating a mock endpoint. So what I will be doing, I'll be appending the directive at mock to here. I will save it. Steps and will redeploy it in just a couple of seconds. And then I head back to the graphical interface. The only thing I do is press play and you can see the titles being mocked. Pretty quick white. In just two minutes or something, we created a mock GraphQL API. And there's much more we can do because maybe we try to add some more things here. Maybe we also have a description, which is a string. Uh, but maybe we want to make sure that our title 
uh, is something else. So maybe we want to make title a, well, but maybe just let me add an email because maybe that's nicer. So for email, we can also add a string, but instead we can also tell steps and we want to use a mock function. So this is all built into StepSend and you can find the link to the documentation in the description of this video. So don't worry if you're tagging along and finding or missing out. I will help you by putting the link in the description. And with this, I'm telling StepSend to use a mock function for email. It redeploys it. And then it will already start appending a valid email to us. So I go back, I add a new file. So I have description as a field. Well, actually I need to refresh this page to get the latest schema, which is some of a bummer, but it all belongs to Graphical. It's not really the fault of us. So I have a description and I also have an email. And you can see my email type is now actually an email and I can append the email type to other things as well. So let's say I want my title to be an email as well. I can just go back, it redeploys. I redo the query. You can see it's also an email. There are other things you can do. Uh, let's say we want title to be a country instead. That's also fine. And as I told you, the entire specification can be found in the documentation, which I will share in the description right here below. And now you can see get post is a, the title has a country, which is Poland. And this is a very easy way to create a mock API with little to no code. And if you want to keep continue building Stepsam, which I really think you should, follow and subscribe this channel to be updated whenever there is a new video. So thank you, and I hope to see you again next time.